I'm in the garden today, and, and last time we talked about the squash vine borers. Well, we're going to talk some more about that because I've got some new information for you. Jackie Jordan is the Clemson Extension agent here in Richland County, and, and Jackie, you've brought me some some products mm -hmm. uh, to talk about, and, and I'm glad because I was at uh, I was at a garden center just the other day and someone was asking me about this. Mm -hmm. This is a great product. This is a horticultural oil with a little bit of neem extract in it and it works by keeping the insects from feeding but it also works as an insect growth regulator keeping them from maturing and reproducing. And which is important to yes. for the vine pores. Now, What's the best way to, to apply this? This you're going to actually have to get a pump sprayer, uh -huh. a tablespoon of, um, or one ounce of this product to, to a gallon of water, yeah. mix it up, and then just use the pump sprayer. And try to direct it at the base of the plant or the undersides of the leaves, depending on what you are controlling. Okay. And then this one is, is a similar product? Right. This is spinosad. This is a bacteria that's only going to affect insects. This is also effective on squash vine borers. Uh, we, again, would just direct it at the base because the squash vine borers only lay their eggs at the base of the plant. And be sure to follow the directions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Yes. Now, uh, that's not the only thing that affects squash. Right. There's another insect called squash bugs. Yes. Uh, they have little gray, when they're in the nymph stage, they're little gray bugs. They're uh -huh. piercing, sucking insects. So they feed on the plant. They can feed on the fruit. And so they usually lay their eggs on the undersides of the leaves in a cluster. Yeah. And it looks like little footballs. Oh, okay. So if you can kick, take them off the leaf and squat, squish them, that's good. Otherwise, there's another great product. And this is diatomaceous earth, and you can get this at a lot of garden centers and box stores. This is a dust that is just silica-based. It cuts the insects when they crawl through it. So in the heat of the day, uh -huh. um, they like to get down in the center of the plant. So if you just dust down at the center of the plant, yeah. um, they crawl through it in the heat of the day, and that cuts them up and kills them. Okay. Now, the only problem with that is you want to be careful with the dust. Right, right. It is a dust. It can be an eye irritant. It's completely safe around um, humans, pets, children, but it does, you know, when you're actively applying it, yeah. it is a dust. Well, our squash is doing great right it now. It is. It looks we wonderful. It yeah. Way. Now, I've got some other things I'm going to plant there. Uh, the acorn squash is mm -hmm. going to go in there, uh, but the garden is going very well, and uh, thank you for that information. We're going to keep a monitoring for the bugs on the squash and hopefully we're going to have some healthy squash yes. this year. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I'm Jim Gandy and I'm in my garden.